What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown and I am back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Last time we did the first research after punching out... Who did we knock out? We beat down a boss. Baron Mordo, who was apparently controlled or manipulated by Ebony Maw? And he summoned Blackheart, that was weird. Anyways. The, uh... Research is done, so let's go take care of that, shall we? Doesn't seem right. There we go. I fixed it. A little bit tweaking. Anyways. Let us go do this. Woot. Cosmic power cell. Awesome. Turn that down. My TV is too loud. Alright. Woot. Now I have to go use three of these. So, I'm going to need two more. Come on, load, load, preferably quicker. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> supplies. Depleted ice. Wait. That's weird. Why would I buy that? It's a shitty PvP item. Fuck. Problem with. Bleh. I could probably find better out of. Well, probably this item will give me better, actually. Where the hell are they? Oh my god, they are 14,000. I'm totally lining my PvP with this. Anyways, there's my two I need. And let's head into mission two. I'll come back to you later. You are not what I was looking for. Here we go. Alright. Bombs away. We moved Thane just in time. Ronan the Accuser just hit the shield safe house where we, where we had him before. Huh. Ronan, wasn't he on our side? He was helping counter incursions down in the Savage Land. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see what you did there. That is clever. Bridging the gap between Marvel and tactics. Brilliant. Well, now he's hunting with Nebula, and we might know why, Tony. Word from Sword is that Ronan is no longer an accuser. Break that down for the agent. The accusers are the Kree's version of traveling military judges. Ronan was the supreme accuser until just the other day. Could be the Kree removed him because he's pitched in to help against incursions. You know, instead of just accusing everyone all the time. He still thinks of himself as an accuser, though, and that's why he's working with Nebula. Both of them consider Thane guilty of killing Thanos. He's not dead, though. He's just frozen in amber. In Nebula's case, at least, the thirst for revenge is understandable. After all, she is his granddaughter. Is Thanos dead? Hard to tell. After our last fight with the Black Order, we found Thanos imprisoned in a block of amber, courtesy of Thane. Nobody seems to be able to break it, so maybe from the Kree point of view, that's pretty much the same thing as killing Thanos. Nebula is active with two members of the Black Order we've seen before, Corvius Glaive and Proximia Midnight. They're all hunting Thane. I don't want the Black Order anywhere near Thane. Agent, stick with the Guardians and help them against Nebula. Yes, sir. Damn. I kind of wish I'd have read that <laughs> I I should have read the guides. Curses. Oh, well. <laughs> I already retweaked my uh, border again to add in Scotty, the epic boss. And I added in all the Guardians of the Galaxy because, well, the fucking Spec Ops is named after them. <sighs> oh, well. Sorry, Corvius and uh, Proximia. You're just going to have to sit this one out. Let's see, Reed Richards has prepared a safe area for Thane in the Baxter building in the event that we can't get Thane to Avengers Tower. Richards wants us to help shore up the perimeter first. Reed, is it possible we can use the Baxter building as a safe house for Thane if the Avengers Mansion is compromised? Possible, yes, but the street outside of the Baxter building is already filling with Circle of Eight. 
Let me see if there's a way to get Thane in without drawing their attention. Well, while he does that, let's go fight our fight. That way I can use my item. Silly rocket, you need to go train. Why aren't you training? <laughs> go train, rocket. I don't need you for this mission. Technically, I don't need you anymore since I, well, three-starred mission one. All right. Ugh. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Because we haven't seen enough of him in this spec ops yet, Groot. And I don't know, Iron Man. Doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna be chunking items at them. <laughs> That's funny, because there's an ad on my side that says, Heroes are coming, and it's a picture of Groot. It was destined to be. Anyways, let's find out where they, here they are, Cosmic Power Cell. All allies regain health and receive cosmic energy. Okay, what does cosmic energy do? Increases defense. That's pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. <laughs> There's the second one. Ooh, and they stack. They stack up to five is what they said. I don't remember. Should probably look into that. Anyways, Groot will provide protection from these lunatics. <laughs> and I'm gonna kill the only one that really stands in my way. I'm talking about the infiltrator. Of course, Iron Man gets the potential unleashed. Unleashed. Of course, I miss. About to say, I swear to God, if you kill them, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Alright, just one more of these, and then Tony can do what he does and kill everyone. Alright, kill everyone. Thank you, Iron Man. That's one task down. That's another one. Oh. You know, I should have seen it coming. Oh well, this shouldn't take too long. Let's go do PvP. Well, on the plus side, I already know of a team that works. You know how it goes, I'll show you the first one, we'll skip the next four fights. Probably continue on from there, maybe. Depending on how long this fight takes. I hate the fact I actually finished in the 900s, I can't fight anyone of a low, per <laughs> low percentage to have an easy fight like I usually do. But, no matter. Dan, dan, da, dan. Oh, loading. <laughs> okay, there we go. I was about to say, it's set on low. Agent Zimmerman. Uh, cute. Oh, look, Colossus or Cable still freaking the fuck out. By that, I mean all of his sprites are going at once. No doubt a cause from his temporal... whatever. Temporal paradox caused by him. It's causing him to freak out and... create an afterimage of all of his attacks or dumb bullshit. I'll think of something later. <laughs> oh, psionic spike. That's cute. You're trying to kill War Machine. Aw, uh, if only that would actually work. War Machine, I swear to God, get Psychic Amplifier so I can destroy them all.
War Machine, some days you're good, some days you're not. Nonetheless, moving on. <laughs> Since you will continue to be a pain in my side, Cable, <laughs> let's get rid of those nasty psychic powers of yours. Or at least weaken them. All right. Deflector shield, charge capacity, charge capacities. Ah, Mystic. Cute. A shame I already got rid of your thing that protects you from. Motherfucker! You elude me this time, but only just this time. I'll have to wave energy manipulation. Bishop, you have just earned a spot on my shit list. Hmm. A worthy try. But you have failed to one-shot Iron Fist. And that will lead to your undoing. Praying Lotus. I am now immune to your <laughs> despicable debuffs. So please, I, Lelouch v. Britannia, command you, now die. <laughs> it matters not if you dodge one or two attacks, because that's not the point. The point is to get you nice, and radiate it up. <laughs> Though radiation will kill you long before I do. Maybe. Also stunning, that's another good thing. Alright, Bishop, fire away. Oh? That's right, you can do that. You're stunned, I could probably kill you here and now. Now ah, what the hell I will. Bishop seems to be my... will probably prove to be my most troublesome person. Especially with that inner force, he could probably do some major damage against me with that. So, repulsor beams. A lot of them. And I bid, th I bid thee adieu, Bishop. You are a worthy adversary, to be sure. A shame you could not match wits with the war machine. As were you, C Cable. C'est la vie. All right, now to go do my four other fights. Catch you guys in a minute. And it's done. Oh, that took far longer than it should have. Oh, what's next? Legendary, yeah, let's see. Make your mark. Use Drax's abilities. Drax is a team up in mission two and three. All right. Well, we'll take care of that next time. So until next time, guys, I will catch you all later. Asta.